Here is a special and urgent message for you. This is Howard Viken, your official civil defense announcer. Civil defense authorities have determined that it is advisable for all persons to leave the city. Your safety and perhaps your life depends on remaining calm and following these instructions. Do not attempt to cross town. Leave the city immediately by the shortest route. Absent members of the family will rejoin the family after they leave the city. Federal authorities have indicated an enemy air attack is probable. We are not certain that it definitely will come here, but there is a chance that we will be attacked. Follow these instructions. Put your emergency supply of food, clothing, bottled water, medicines, and first aid supplies in your car. Load all the members of the family that are at home now into the car and leave the area. Don't try to telephone anyone. Drive on the shortest possible route to get outside the city. Travel at least, I repeat, at least 50 miles from the city. Do not attempt to cross town or drive across roads being used by others as they leave town. Follow civil defense road signs and directions. Your car radio should be tuned to 640 or 1240 for official instructions. Remain calm and give everybody else the same chance you want for yourself to leave town. We can all get to safe areas if we act calmly. If your car is disabled on the highway and cannot be repaired immediately, push it to the side of the road and ride with someone else. By the same token, if your car is not full, pick up people walking along the road or street. Obey civil defense police and wardens. Stay in traffic lanes and stay in your place. If you try to pass other cars, you'll only cause traffic jams. Do not try to cross evacuation routes. Avoid main bridges if possible. If you have a place of refuge far enough away, go there and remain until we give you information that will permit your return. If you do not have a place prepared for yourself, drive at least 50 miles from the target area. Civil Defense will instruct you there. Cooperate with Civil Defense workers and they will help you. Do not listen to rumors. And above all, keep calm. Your life depends on it. Keep tuned to this station for further information and tell your neighbors to tune in also. This is your official civil defense broadcaster, Howard Viken. This is Howard Viken, your official civil defense announcer. Here is a special message from civil defense. Federal authorities have said there is a chance that this area will be attacked by an enemy force. It does not mean an attack is certain just that there is a possibility of such an attack. Keep tuned to this station for further information and instructions. I repeat, remain calm. Keep tuned to this station. Civil defense personnel report to your duty stations. Do not use the telephone. This is Howard Viken, your official civil defense announcer. Federal authorities have said we may possibly be attacked by an enemy. Here are some instructions from your civil defense organization. Remain calm. Keep your radio tuned to this station. If your children are in school, they will be sent home. Do not go to the school for your children unless this is a part of your school defense plan. Assemble stores of food, warm clothing, water, and medical supplies. Do not use the telephone. Don't attempt to drive toward the larger cities. Keep tuned to this station for further information. This is Howard Viken, your official civil defense announcer. Here are more instructions for your safety. An attack may be made on this area, but we do not have definite information. Remain calm. Stay at home. If you are at home, shut the doors and windows and pull down the shades. Turn off your electrical appliances except your radio. Take safety precautions with your gas and oil furnace. Keep tuned to this station for further information and instructions. This is Howard Viken, your official civil defense announcer. Here are more instructions for your safety. If you have livestock, get the animals under cover. Be sure you have supplies of food, clothing, water, and medical equipment gathered together and ready. Don't use the telephone, and don't drive toward the larger cities. Civil defense personnel report to your duty stations. Don't listen to rumors, and don't spread any rumors you have heard. Keep tuned to this station for further information. Remember, you can get official civil defense programs only at 640 and 1240 on your dial. Any other programs during the radio alert are unofficial, 
Beware of them. The enemy may attempt to confuse you by using unauthorized stations. Do not listen or start rumors. They can cause panic. This station, the station you are listening to, will continue to give you all authentic information and instruction. This is Howard Viken, your official civil defense announcer. Your attention, please. This is Dick Chapman, one of your official civil defense broadcasters with a special message. Military authorities have advised us that an enemy attack by air is imminent. This is a red alert. You are advised to go to your nearest shelter area immediately. Find shelter. There is not time to leave the city. Your state civil defense director has just issued the following instructions. Please remain calm. Every precaution will be taken for your protection. Keep your radio tuned to this place on the dial throughout the alert period for information. Telephone service to your home may be cut off to permit military and civil defense authorities to carry out vital operations. Do not attempt to join your family or your children if they are now separated. They will be cared for where they are. Obey your civil defense warden and find shelter now. Take shelter in your basement or in your nearest shelter area. If you can plug in your radio in the basement, take it with you. Use a portable radio set if you have one. Otherwise, turn up the volume of your radio so that you can hear it in the basement. Keep calm. Don't lose your head. If you are at work, obey your civil defense authorities. Go quickly and calmly to your designated shelter. If your children are at school, they are being directed to shelter by their teachers. If you are in an automobile, pull over to the curb and then go immediately to the nearest shelter area. Do not leave your car where it will block traffic. This station will continue to stay on the air throughout the alert period to bring you authentic information and official instructions. Stay tuned to 640 or 1240 kilocycles on your radio for official information. Refuse to listen to unauthorized rumors or broadcasts. This is your official civil defense broadcast. In accordance with the authority vested in me, I hereby declare a civil defense emergency to exist in the state of Minnesota. This will put into effect emergency plans for your welfare. Minnesota civil defense organizations, including those of counties and municipalities, are directed to mobilize and act in accordance with approved plans. I am also calling a special session of both houses of the legislature to convene at a place and time I will designate in a later announcement. I ask that you cooperate with your civil defense officials. You will be advised of further developments by radio. Stay tuned for further information. This is Governor Elmer L. Anderson.